Hey guys, what's good? Mike Locke here. Thanks for tuning in to another video blog. In this video, let's talk about this new product from Adobe called Adobe Comet and how this is potentially or can be potentially a replacement for Adobe Fireworks. Now, this is great news for a lot of um, the Adobe Fireworks users, myself included. We've been waiting, we've been begging for updates on Adobe Fireworks and, and this particular, this new app seems to be like the pimped out version of Adobe Fireworks. Let me explain. Basically, I got wind of it last week. Um, Adobe has been working on this new product. They're, they're calling it Project Comet. This new app, Adobe Comet, is basically an app, an all-in-one design app for UX designers. Um, it's going to allow you to do prototyping, um, create mobile designs, web designs, and easily uh, see your prototypes on mobile devices instantly. Um, it has great vector capabilities from what I can see and from what I think they said initially. Um, and basically they're, they're, they're going to brand it for an all-in-one design solution for interaction designers, UX designers, etc. Okay? Now, when, when you look at, when you, when you say that message, an app that's, that's, um, that's slated for UX designers, I look at Adobe Fireworks as that particular app because it has vector, bitmap, and prototyping, which are some of the, which basically are the essential features for any UX designer. You're going to be designing, or UI UX designer, that I, I would say. You're going to be designing, you're going to be prototyping in a development process. That's basically what you do. You design and you prototype, okay, and you demo, all right? This app will allow you to do that. It's the new pimped out version, uh, in my opinion, of some of the features we see in Adobe Fireworks. Um, I had a good um, Twitter chat with one of the lead designers there for that app because I saw him in the video, so I shot him an, uh, a message on Twitter, and we were going back and forth. Basically, from all aspects, from what I'm hearing, like the product managers and the designers and all the people involved in this project, they want to listen to the community. They're basically listening to the community. So if you offer feedback to them on one of their, um, like from Twitter or whatever, they're going to listen to that. They're, you know, that's what product managers do. When they're in charge of a product, they listen to the community and they see what people need and they start itemizing what are the features and key features that um, designers really need, look for, and they are gonna try to get into this app from what I hear. Um, so that's great news. Um, one of the things that I've been pushing to these guys, I've been emailing and, and, and Twittering and sending these guys, is that this app, this Adobe Comet app, needs to have basic bitmap capabilities. What I mean by that is when you pull in an image into an app like Adobe Fireworks, I can crop that image if I want to. I can uh, blur that image out to create a cool background for my website or mobile app. I can add noise, a noise filter to that image. I can sharpen that image. I can do some minor color adjust adjustments and things like that. That's called, that's what I, that's what we call bitmap um, editing. Okay, now those are the basic features. Okay, from what I see in the early demo in this particular app, they, didn't, they do not include some basic bitmap features that, from, from what I see. Okay, now in order for this app, in my opinion, to be a fireworks replacement, it needs add some strong basic bitmap editing capabilities. Okay, and I emailed this to them, and they're actually responding back to me and saying that they they are listening. They want to know more about why we need bitmap features, um, because right now the app is is looks like it's strong in in uh, in some vector capabilities, some vector vector features, and it's overwhelmingly strong in prototyping. It's one of the it looks like one of the the greater prototyping apps that I that I see right now based on the demo. Okay, it's going to be awesome. So they've covered that basis, um, but the bitmap editing features is what this app really needs so that to really make it an all-in-one solution for UI UX designers, basically, where I don't have to do round trips, okay? Because right now they are, they're marketing it as you can do round trips into Photoshop, into Adobe Illustrator, and bring in your, your items into this app. I don't want to do that. I want to open this app and start designing inside of it. Just like I can do in Adobe Fireworks today, I don't need to use any other apps. I don't need to use Adobe Illustrator if I don't have to. I just open up this app and I start designing. Okay, so that's 
that's what makes a great UI UX design app. One that has bitmap, vector, as well as the prototyping features. This app seems to have all that. This Adobe Comet app, and along with all these cool other innovative features that they've been demoing um, at their Adobe Mac conference, uh, it looks really good. I'm really impressed with what they've done with this uh, Adobe Comet app. I'm hoping this is what we've been waiting for. This, those of us who love Adobe Fireworks, those of us who love the prototyping features in Adobe Fireworks, we've been waiting for a new all-in-one solution, a pimped out, updated version of Adobe Fireworks. And I think, I think this app could be it, okay? To be determined, I don't know yet. They're listening to the community, but I don't know because the, the app is not out and we're not using it yet. Um, it could be limiting in certain features when they first come out, but they're going to be adding features as it goes. Um, so just keep your eye out. I just want to say, like, keep your eye out for Adobe Comet. If you never heard of it, I'm going to link to their uh, web page here, and you can kind of get a look at it. And uh, give them your email address. I believe they're going to send out emails on when this thing is going to be released All right, on, for the Adobe. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be included in the Adobe um, um, Cloud subscription. Um, and I'm sure you can... Um, I believe you should be able to try it out and, and purchase it as a single product too, or from a subscription standpoint, that is. Um, that's it. So check out this uh, new product, Adobe Comment. I'm, I'm excited for it in early 2016. It could be a replacement for Adobe Fireworks. We'll, we'll wait and see. Um, but if it is a replacement for Adobe Fireworks, I'm going to be creating, because I have this, this idea of creating this new um, training product, this, this all-in-one training course on you um, strictly for UI UX designers it's going to go deep into UX design um, and, and some of the new principles principles that I've been learning over the last year and I hope if this app is a replacement for Adobe Fireworks I may be designing this full course using this particular app because it is an all-in-one solution for UX and UI designers I'm hoping okay so to be determined we'll see when it comes out I'm sure I'm going to have more info on it, but check it out. I'm, I'm sure you guys will love it on what you see in the demos and uh, try it out when it comes out. All right. We'll talk soon, guys. If you have any questions, please give me your feedback on what you think about this new product um, and, and what you hope to see in the app and send them emails too. You know, send them emails, send them your feedback and, and they'll be listening. Um, but if you have any questions for me, visit my website, mlwebco.com. Always use my contact link on my website to hit me up with any questions and check out my training course if you want to learn more about uh, the things that I do there. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not. Like the video if you like the things that I talk about and uh, we'll talk soon guys. Look out for more videos to come and uh, have a good one. Peace.